Panama Canal was started in 1870 by the French Ferdinand de Lesseps and was finished in 1914 by the United States of America. Yes. And I'm one of the cliff divers from Acapulco. Good. And welcome to our place. Will you be diving today? No way, Jose. I'm a chicken today. <laughs> <laughs> When's the last time you dove? Uh, like around one year ago. When going to see the cliff divers, I think it's a good idea to go to the La Perla restaurant and just sit down by a drink or so and sit in the shade and and get ready for the divers uh, if you take the tour they'll put you down in that big thing right across from the divers and you just stand there waiting for the divers to do their thing it's really very nice uh, the couple we were with he was a retired central intelligence agency employee and told us all about the uh, berlin wall and exchanging uh, information with the Russians through tapping their underground cables as they tapped ours.
And uh, tell me about the program you're on. Well, we have a wonderful host program. This ship right now carries six hosts. And uh, we have three in each lounge every night, so the ladies have somebody to dance with. And we roam the decks, uh, and talk to the ladies on trips with them, so that they're uh, somebody to be with. And we generally have a great time with them. Uh, are there any special rules that, uh, that govern that? Uh, well, yes, we are. The rules are that you do not dance more than one dance with the lady before you come back. So you dance around with all the ladies before you come back to uh, one again. Uh, you do not give consecutive dances to a lady. Um, what do you have to add? Because there's another host over here. Oh, who is this now? I make, I'm Harry Ryan. I'm from Boise, Idaho. Hi, Harry. And I have been cruising for the, with the Royal Cruise Line as a host for six years. So to answer your question, I think about the, uh, the basic thing is to circulate all evening. Yeah. And make sure that you uh, dance with all the single ladies, all un unescorted ladies. Uh -huh. And after that, it just works its way out very nicely. What kind of work have you done uh, before? I assume you are retired from. Uh... I'm a retired FBI agent. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, Phil, what'd you do? What are you? Uh, you still working? Uh, I retired? Was, no, I'm. Uh, well, I don't know what I am. Uh, no, I was a supervisor for gifted and talent in my school district. I wrote children's storybooks, professional articles. I took an early retirement three years ago and uh, found I wasn't ready for retirement. I did a lot of traveling previously. So I went into hosting and now I do uh, hosting and I write travel articles for several newspapers and magazines. Uh, and travel cartoons also, and I turn around and I lecture or talk on travel. Well, what are the rules on uh, other than dancing, like going on a, uh, a tour with a lady? Okay. Uh, can well, you just go on yeah, one? Well, uh, no, we go on the tour, you're assigned to a bus. Okay, and so you, you don't just go with one no, lady no, on no, the tour? No, 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 you're assigned to the bus, you're responsible that in case uh, anybody gets injured, that you get them back to the ship in one piece. Uh, take a head count at each stop, uh, help the ladies on and off the bus. Um, like one woman once said, if I kept doing that, you'd keep getting on and off the bus all day long. <laughs> well, do you get any kind of compensation at all for this? No, or? you do not get any compensation. They give you your airline ticket, your steamship ticket, some allowance for laundry, and a little bit more per diem for either yourself or you want to entertain passengers at your table like a bottle of wine. Uh, that's it. You do not take gifts, tips, or anything of that sort there. And for obvious reasons, uh, you treat every lady alike. And it's not this business, well, she might be a big tip, so I'll give her a little more attention. Every lady, is, there's no favoritism showing. You, know, so you always, every lady gets the same amount of attention. And that's bad for the person who's broken. Dependent, for obvious reasons. And uh, other than that, why? Well, good appearance, like people, mingle well with uh, all guests. And uh, that's essentially it. Well, there are two types of hosts, too. We have an in-house host, which we are. The in-house host, we were born to Royal Cruise Lines. And then there's another host where um, some of us also belong to, where we pay an agent $150 a week for assignment on the ship. In other words, if it's a four-week cruise, you pay $600 to the agent place you on the ship and take it. Well, how long? Is there any obligation you have to make? Can you just no. do one cruise? No. Or do well, yeah, you can do one or? cruise, but then you pay your own airline tickets. The company will not give the airline to uh, transfers. How, long, how many cruises do you have to make? Uh, usually you? it's about, well, it's uh, about three. 30 days. About 30, well, it's 30, 28 really, 28 and above. Yeah. And uh, I would say roughly when you're about, uh, the longest I've ever had was seven and a half weeks. And at seven and a half weeks, you are burned out. Tired, you're ready to go. Yeah. Because you don't have a day off. No. In other words, when you come on, say you're 33 days, we're 33. Yeah. Yeah. We dance about five hours a night. Now, you don't have to pay, so when you go on the tours, you don't have to pay for your tours. No, no. Okay. no. We were selling this court duty. How about your liquor? What about liquor? Uh, we were given a small amount of money per diem for either ourselves or passenger entertainment. You can use our passenger entertainment because you treat your table to a bottle of wine or Never something. Find your uh, lady sitting at the table doing a dance and say, would you like to have a drink? So that's where you are. And in the uh, dining room, do you move around? Do you eat with the ladies? We or eat like one yes, person need a different no, table? We're assigned a uh, table, and then at the end of um, mid-voyage, we switch tables. 
that you get two hosts usually at the table. Um, if you are traveling, I would suggest the lady coming on board request to be at a table with hosts. Because they don't necessarily assign you to a table with hosts. You might be at a table with some other ladies, uh, couples, etc. But if you specify you want to be at a table with the host, they will put you at a table with the host. Yeah, there are only six hosts. Yeah. Right. Well, sometimes we have eight or ten. Yeah. It depends. For example, you might have eight on the crown. Well, that's their uh, yeah. compliment is eight. Yeah. Compliment is eight on the crown. Sometimes uh, they have ten. The big band swing takes ten. Do, do you have to play book cards? Uh, do you have to know how to play? You expect to know how to play cards? Uh, they would like you to, but you don't have to. And then, too, very often it's very difficult because bridge starts at 2 o'clock and have a dance class at 2 o'clock. Dance classes where you But have really, to the dance classes is where you should yeah, go. Yeah, that's where you have to be. You really, be at the dance classes. Yeah. 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 We're playing we took a tour from Porta Caldara to the town of Sarchi in Costa Rica. This is a town where they have the famous little uh, ox carts that are painted very colorfully. You notice that they had some very, very nice uh, boxes that were made out of wood and very beautiful carved designs. We actually bought one of these, for, that one right there, for $750. It had quite a bit of workmanship on it. This is an example of some of the ox carts. Some of these are not painted yet, and then you'll see some that are painted. And uh, we got some pictures along the way of the little kids that work here. Of course, this is a master craftsman here, putting the carts together. But they do have some children that do a lot of the painting. Uh, this tour we took, because it was a lot shorter than going all the way to San Jose, which would have been just way too long. And you'll notice that we're in the uh, area where they're uh, uh, doing some of the work. And we got to watch them, and it was very, very interesting. It was an excellent tour. It was combined with a tour of the town to see the uh, famous metal church, which was bought and assembled to uh, replace it was the built, wooden uh, church this little that burned town, down. Uh, burned down that was built of wood, so they got one built of metal.
takes only about a 30 horsepower uh, engine to open and close it.
78 islands, depending on who you ask. They're located in the Caribbean off the east coast of Panama. Many of the San Blas are inhabited by their indigenous Indian tribe, the Cuna. The Cuna have been resisting changes to their culture since the Spanish first arrived over 500 years ago. They've actually done a pretty good job of maintaining their way of life. The San Blas has its own government and each island is run by a chief.
head on a very uh, exotic black and uh, We're be, you're red gonna be dinner jacket that everybody is kidding me about. In a Bardello? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we look like Christmas. You know the guy red right? Right? about me uh, going today? Get a haircut? We're, we're thinking in the size. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> How frequently we run into such wonderful people to visit. It's just a really good thing to have. Thank you. 